Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to run cheats on PPSSPP on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. So if you follow my tutorial before, you'll know how to install PPSSPP as a native ARM application on the M1 Mac. I'm going to leave a link to this video tutorial in the description. So you'll need to have gotten to the stage where you can actually run PPSSPP. So in order to get to the next stage, let's say we want to enable cheats, what we can do is go to the settings menu here, and then we can go to the system menu here, and we're going to scroll down a little bit. We're going to click this enable cheats bar here. So to make sure this is ticked, and then click back. And then we actually need to download a cheats database. So what I'm going to do is to leave a link in the description for this GitHub page. This contains a full database of all of the cheats that are necessary for PSP games. So here we're going to download the master.zip here. And then when we go to our finder and then go to downloads folder, we're going to double click on this master.zip in order to extract it. So we're going to go into this folder now. Then we're going to take this cheat.db. We're going to control click on it and click copy. And then we need to navigate to our PPSSPP user folder. So this is a bit hard to find. What you need to do is to focus on finder, press go, and then click go to folder. And we're going to type in this command tilde forward slash dot config. So this is the hidden config folder for our user. And we'll press return here. As you can see, we have various config folders here. This is the hidden config folder for many games. I'm going to open up the PPSSPP folder here. So this is going to be available only if you actually run PPSSPP for the first time. Then this folder will be created. And then what we need to do is to double click on the PSP folder. And if you don't have a cheats folder already, you can go ahead and create one by pressing file and the new folder, and then double click on this cheats folder. Then we're going to go ahead and paste the cheat DB into here. So we're going to press paste item, and this cheat DB will be now be available. So here I'm going to load the game Tekken 6. Then what I'm going to do is load my state, and I have my character select screen here. I'm going to press escape. We're going to go to the cheats menu here, and then we're going to click the button import from cheat DB. You can see here that my profile has got zero G, zero gold. If I press escape and then go to cheats again, if I take the max gold option here and press return and press continue here, then now I've got the maximum gold in the game. So this is how you set specific cheats. So the cheats are going to be very specific to each particular version of the game. So just be aware that if you're using, say, like a European version or a Japanese version, then you might have different cheats here. So this folder path of tilde forward slash dot config is going to contain all of these cheat files. It also contains your save data and your save state data as well. So if you ever wanted to copy this to a different computer or to a phone or a different device running PPSSPP, you can do it through this menu here. It is a little bit confusing because you normally would expect this in the application support folder. However, this is where all the data is kept. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you check out the videos in my playlist, I have a bunch of information about how to get game emulators working on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. If you have any questions about how to get retro games or other games working on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac, then please leave a comment. If you liked the video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.